All right, folks, let's talk about money. Specifically, something you might hear about in fancy finance news. It's called funding rates. Now, you might have heard of perpetual contracts. These are common in the crypto world. They are a type of futures contract, but they are different. They don't have an expiry date because they don't expire. Their price needs a little help. Help to stay close to the actual price of the asset, like Bitcoin. So what are these funding rates? They are the solution to that price peg problem. Think of them as small regular payments. These payments go between traders. It's not a fee you pay to the exchange, no sir. Instead, traders who are betting the price will go up, longs, might pay. They might pay traders betting the price will go down, shorts, or it could be the other way around. It all depends on the market. Why do we even need these things? Good question. It's all about keeping prices honest and stable. Without funding rates, the price of these perpetual contracts could drift. They could go way higher or way lower than the actual spot price of the asset. So, how do they come up with these funding rates? It's not some secret Wall Street magic, it's actually pretty straightforward once you break it down. The rate generally depends on two main components. There's an interest rate component, and there's a premium component. We're going to look at both of these. Don't let the fancy terms scare you off. It's simpler than it sounds, I promise you that. First, let's talk about the interest rate component. The exchange, the place where you trade, usually sets this part. It is often a fixed, small percentage. This part reflects the difference in interest rates, specifically between the two assets in the contract pair. For example, in a Bitcoin USD contract, it's about the cost of holding Bitcoin versus holding US dollars. Think of it like the interest you might earn or pay, depending on which currency you are holding in different accounts. Next up is the premium component. This part is more dynamic, it changes more often. It measures the difference or the gap between two prices. Let's make this real. Imagine Bitcoin perpetual contracts are trading high. They are priced higher than the actual spot price of Bitcoin. This means many buyers are very optimistic, maybe a little too optimistic, pushing prices up. In this situation, the funding rate will likely be positive. This is a common scenario you might see. It tells you something about market sentiment. It's a signal from the crowd. So, what happens when the funding rate is positive? Well, traders holding long positions pay. Those are the folks betting the price will continue to go up. They make payments to those holding short positions. Those are the traders betting the price will go down. This mechanism makes it a bit more expensive to stay long. It encourages some longs to sell, or it attracts more shorts. This helps to push the contract price down, closer to the spot price. Now let's look at the flip side. Imagine Bitcoin perpetuals are trading below the spot price. This means the contract price is lower than the actual Bitcoin price. Perhaps there are too many sellers. Listen, you absolutely must pay attention to these funding rates. They are not some tiny insignificant detail you can just ignore. These payments, or receipts, can add up significantly over time. Especially if you hold a position for days or weeks. They can slowly eat away at your hard-earned profits, or they can make your losses even bigger. Don't let yourself get caught off guard by this. It's your money on the line. You need to factor funding rates into your trading strategy. Are you planning to hold a perpetual contract for the long term? If the funding rate is consistently positive and you are long, that's a cost. It's a regular deduction from your account. If it's consistently negative and you are long, it could actually pay you. You need to know which side of that payment you're on. Plan for these cash flows. Now, some advanced traders try to farm funding rates. This means they try to consistently earn the funding payment. They might go long on a contract with a high negative rate. It's very important to understand the specific rules of your exchange. Different cryptocurrency exchanges might have slightly different ways of calculating funding rates. They might also have different payment frequencies. Some pay every 8 hours, some every hour. Always, and I mean always, read the fine print. Check the help section or FAQ on the platform you are using. Don't just assume they are all identical because they are not. Be especially aware of how leverage impacts funding payments. When you use leverage, you're borrowing to trade a larger position. The funding payments, whether you pay or receive them, are calculated on your total notional position size. That's the big number, not just your initial margin deposit. This means high leverage can make the funding impact huge. It can amplify your gains from funding or amplify your costs. Leverage is a powerful tool, but it cuts both ways. 
Timing can also play a role, though it's tricky. Funding payments occur at specific scheduled intervals. So, let's bring it all home. Funding rates are a really key feature of perpetual contracts. They are not just some random fee cooked up by exchanges. They serve a vital purpose. They are designed to keep the perpetual contract market orderly and to keep its price closely tied to the underlying asset spot price. Understanding them is not optional if you're going to wade into these waters. It's fundamental. These rates directly impact your bottom line, your wallet. It's that simple. Whether you are the one paying the funding or the one receiving it, these amounts affect your trading profitability. Ignoring them is like driving your car with your eyes half closed. You might get somewhere eventually, but it's probably not going to be pretty, and it could be very costly. Pay attention to the details when your money is involved. Beyond the direct cost or benefit, funding rates offer valuable insights. They can tell you a lot about market sentiment. Are other traders feeling overwhelmingly bullish and piling into longs, or are they bearish with shorts dominating? The funding rate gives you clues. This can be a very valuable piece of information.